What's going on guys? My name is Caden Hayward. I'm the CEO of Coach Hayward. In today's video, what I'm going over is how I got started into working out and how I was able to finally stick with it after failing multiple times. All right, let's go. So guys, for those who don't know, I've been working out for quite a long time now. Ever since I was early on in high school, uh, I finally started picking up the weights and finally was able to stick with it. Now, what those for those who don't also know is that a few years earlier before I actually got started I was struggling to stick with it I was struggling to even get started so that's what we're gonna be going over today guys because I feel that a lot of you may think that those people who work out and people who have lost weight and are in shape have just randomly one day walked into a gym started and magically lost weight or magically built a ton of muscles. So that's not true at all. What actually happened when I first start working out was that it took me like two or three times to actually get into it and to actually stay consistent with it. So, you know, in the past I would go with my brother or my dad would, you know, encourage me, etc. Friends would make me or not make me, but friends would get me to go with them as well. And I'd go and I'd try it out because, you know, I want to feel better. Like, oh, everyone else is doing it, so I might as well do it. I didn't actually know the importance of working out, though. I was only doing it because my brother was doing it. The people I looked up to were doing it, etc. My friends were doing it. So I would go and I would try to work out. And, you know, I'd sit there and I'd do bicep curls. And I wouldn't even be doing it properly. I'd just be trying to lift super heavy weight. And, uh... Lesson learned, you know, after I hurt my shoulder, that you shouldn't lift too heavy when you start. That's another story, though. So, what happened after this is that, you know, I would go for maybe like two or three times, and then I'd completely quit, fall off, never even thinking about it again. Now, guys, the reason why I feel like this was happening is because, number one, I didn't know the importance of it. I didn't know that doing this would actually help solve my insecurities and a lot of the mental problems that I was going through at the times. Next, I didn't know that it would actually produce the gains and the, the physical results I would get from it by doing this consistently over time. I thought that, you know, oh, well, I went to the gym one time. Why don't I have any gains? So my perceptions and my knowledge was totally off, first and foremost. And second of all is I didn't know the importance of it. It wasn't that important at the time. And like I always say to my clients is that you can walk a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. So that means, you know, I, anybody could get me to go, but if I wasn't willing to do it myself, if I didn't truly want to make a change myself to take full on action, then it was impossible for me to actually make the change, right? So how I actually got into the gym though, guys, is one day in school, I started this fitness class and the teacher was making us work out. So we had to work out. It's either you sit down in the corner, lose grades, or you go work out. So what did I do is I just start working out every single class and I never took a break at all. And I completely fell in love with it. After about one to two weeks and I started noticing the slightest beginner gains and I was feeling comfortable with it. I liked the feeling of working out. I was getting into kind of like an addiction because it felt good um, working out in general. And I noticed a little bit of results. So. I finally got into this phase where I just stuck with it and I stuck with it for about three to four months and you know my teacher was always there to make sure I was working out. He'd be walking around making sure you're doing something and I had that accountability which was great. So the biggest lesson I took from this um, that got me into the foundation of fitness and got me to finally start working out is that I had that accountability there to literally make me work out. I wasn't just going to sit around and waste time. So I just worked out and eventually I did it consistently enough that I started liking it. I started seeing a little bit of results and I got into the habit of it because I was doing it consistently for months at a time. So after this, when school was over, I finally just start going to the gym consistently. After school, I'd go. And it'd be a routine for me. Every single day, I would go to the gym. Every single day after, I'd go to the gym, go to the gym, go to the gym. And then it became part of my lifestyle. And ever since then, guys, it blew up, you know, years and years and years later. Now I am here today. And it's incredible. It's truly incredible what it has done for me. So my biggest, biggest 
um, tip for you guys today is find that accountability, especially if you're not at the place yet where it's super important enough to you where you can't stick with it or you just seem like you can't keep that motivation burning um, after the first few weeks or first months, etc. Okay. Next is that if you also have found that you have tried it, you have lost some weight in the past and you keep falling off over and over again, then I also recommend find that accountability so you can finally make the permanent changes that you deserve and that you truly want. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this has helped you some. Um, and I also wish you guys an amazing day and the best of luck on your fit journey. Have a great day. I'll see you next video.